This is your three-minute radiation fallout guide for Europe. Predicting fallout potential for Europe can be tricky for several reasons, one being Europe's unique geography, two, a history of previous nuclear disasters, and three, releases from the numerous nuke plants that exist there today. Europe is a densely populated series of multiple peninsulas, surrounded by various large water bodies of varying temperatures. Numerous research studies, most notably from Hamburg, Germany, have outlined the various anomalies that can occur because of this peninsula effect. This makes predictions somewhat complex, but there are multiple weather tools that can be used to assess fallout risk from both Fukushima and local sources. The same factors apply for assessing fallout risk elsewhere, precipitation, jet stream, and tropopause. Oftentimes, the leading edges of a water vapor band seem to contain the highest concentration of radioactive particles. Wind direction, however, which we generally anticipate is moving west to east in the U.S. and Canada, can come from any direction as low-pressure systems move through Europe. Therefore, fallout risk has to be reassessed on a daily basis, if not more often. Europe has also been profoundly affected by contamination from previous nuclear accidents, such as Sellafield and Windscale in the UK, Dumfries and Galloway in Scotland, Griefswald in Germany in 1975 and 1989, and 10 separate incidents in France since the early 80s, all resulting in some level of groundwater contamination. The largest of these, of course, was Chernobyl, the broad-reaching effects of which are still being researched and studied 25 years later. Globally, there has been at least 99 civilian and military nuclear accidents since 1959. And yet another factor are the large number of reactors in Europe in use today. The IAEA reported that there were 439 reactors in operation worldwide, 80% of which are in the European Union. These plants release radioactive steam to the air as part of normal venting and cooling, just as they do in the United States. Those emissions, coupled with the fact there are various areas of contamination from previous accidents and sometime unpredictable weather, makes forecasting fallout a challenge. Perhaps it is safest to consider all precipitation as hazardous, unless proven otherwise, with a Geiger counter. YURDEP is a radiological data platform where individual isotopes and their concentrations can be tracked. Familiarize yourself with these resources. This is the reality of Europeans trying to coexist with nuclear power. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.